Hi, this place is filled with monkeys. I'm in the Indian mountains. And what I wanted to talk about today is how AI could actually impact your business. So first of all, large language models today make it so that your presence is infinitely scalable. It's a level up from traditional social media. What social media allowed us to do was it gave video the possibility of having infinite scale. So if I'm a professional and I wanna you know, deliver a service or I wanna give out information, I can do so by video and infinite people can watch it. There's no limitation. I just need to make one video and every single person that wants to watch it can watch it. That's the superpower of video. Nowadays, I hear people say, oh, my video went viral, when actually, it just got a lot of views. It's different. When you say your video got viral, what you actually mean it got a lot of views on TikTok, or Instagram Reels, or YouTube Shorts. But, if you've ever scrolled through those programs, you know how little you pay attention to them while watching. So what does this mean? Your video actually didn't go viral. The only actual viral things that I've seen lately are the guy, the Turkish guy shooting at the Olympics and the Hak Tuago. Those are the actual viral things that came out of this. If a million people saw your video, but don't remember it, they don't know who you are, you're not viral, you just got a lot of views. So nowadays, the paradigm shifts, I think, from views to how many people got your message. So clarity instead of virality is the new metric. And that's the reason why people with even small followings can make a whole lot of money just because they know how to monetize their audience and they have a very uh, strong connection with them. Now what AI enables us to do is even go further. So say I'm a dietitian and I make videos on YouTube where I show my personality, I show how good of a dietitian I am and I give out free information. I could train a model to be my exact replica and I could offer for a very little fee, a consultation through AI. So the price of services like these, of consultations, uh, goes incredibly down because all you have to do is you train a model and it can serve infinite people. It doesn't tax your time, which can be used to make the model better and better and better. So consultancy services are going to be the most impacted. Whereas, if you point over there, you can't use AI to build buildings. It's, it's impossible. It's not going to change anything. It's not going to be impactful. All it can do is speak. And so all the jobs that require speaking as the main skill will see it being done by AI because this gives you infinite scalability and brings the cost down for most people. Obviously, the dietitian is just an example. We can have virtual yoga coaches watching you, personal trainers, watching you and telling you what to do. And I think even medical consultation to some extent could be sort of automated. The coaching space and consultation space is going to be the most affected. Now, we've seen through technology that scalability gets easier and easier over time. We've seen capital emerge, which makes the importance of a single decision much more impactful if you just bring capital with it. If you allocate a lot of money on your resource, you can make a lot of money from it. Then we got code, which allows you to deliver a service of some kind, mostly digital, to anyone. And now AI can do the same thing, but on a more human level. So these are going to be the businesses that emerge mostly, and the ones that are going to have the most success in the near future. Thanks for watching, I'm Lucas. And this was Shimla.